Hello, my name is Lawrence Tam, and I wanted to do a train with for you, for Toby and Layla. Thank you for giving me this platform to help you guys understand blogging, how I do it. And I told Toby and Layla, I know you go through some boot camp information, some information purely on SEO training and, and blogging. I wanted to jump in and kind of put my in input into niche blogging because this is what I've been doing for the last 12 months, um, maybe even closer to 18 months. Why niche blogging and, and the process of, of how someone can go into that route? Why even think about that? Why why niche blogging? Okay, so number one, niche blogging, It number one, what it'll consist of, it's multiple, multiple, multiple sites. That's all it really is. Now, that just means... I'm going to have multiple websites, multiple WordPress blogs. Why multiple? I mean, it kind of there's kind of many benefits. One, you know, the whole saying about, you know, having all your eggs, all eggs in one basket. See, I've been slapped by PPC Google. I've been I've been banned by YouTube PPC. And and not even my fault. It's just, you know, different policies, different changes. Why stick all of my traffic, all of my money, all of my income into one blog? What if the blog goes down? What if it gets hacked? What if whatever the host company doesn't like me for whatever reason? What if I forget to pay my bill? Whatever it may be. There's a lot of different things that can happen. And, and, and what we're trying to do is – what I'm trying to do is minimize mistakes and just really just minimize what can happen to me in my income because this, this is my livelihood, right? So I wanted to be able to diversify that. And that's kind of one of the main basic ingredients of, of being able to have multiple websites. Now, now, niche is because if you focus, it's equal to easier rankings. All right. Having one website that says LawrenceTam.net versus having a website about vacuum cleaners, about hot cars, about tall women, about cool places of vacation. If you have blogs that talk about specific topics, you're going to be able to focus your attention on those who are interested in that topic. Hence the name niche blogging. Now, if you understand niche blogging, what you want to do is be able to keep someone within that website and keep them longer. Let's say you're looking for a vacation package. You go and find, hey, where should I travel this year? I want to go somewhere in Eastern Europe. And you're going online and Google and it takes you to a website and all it talks about is Eastern European vacation spots. Well, guess what? You're going to stay there longer. But what if you went to a place that all it was is a subsection and started talking about Toys R Us toys, and started talking about muscle building, and started talking about how to read faster? It's kind of like, mm, that's not really what I, what I wanted. So if you keep someone in a niche blog, you're going to be able to keep them entertained within the mindset of where they wanted to get their information, a niche. So multiple sites within the blog is basically to, to lessen the blow if it were to go down. So one of the things I learned was it was 10 pillars, 10 pillars, 10 sources of income. Why not have 10 websites that do the same thing, right? Different niches, each of them making a thousand dollars a month. Now you got 10 K versus having one website that makes 10 K. If that website goes down, you have zero K. Now if you have 10 websites, one goes down, you still have nine K, right? So in terms of niche blogging, number two, I am a big fan of WordPress blogs, all right? And and the reason WordPress blogs is number one, they can be dynamic or they can be static. Dynamic mean blog. See, we're more used to WordPress blogs, WordPress setups in terms of dynamic, it's a blog. It's a blog reel. You put something in, the next day you put something in, it's dated, it pushes the next thing down. It's more of an ongoing journal, very similar to what you're, you're accustomed to for WordPress blogs. But what most people don't understand is you can make niche blogging from a static website where it is not, not being updated, not updated. Most of my niche blogs, the only way I'm able to do that, because remember, I, this is me, and I have many different satellite blogs. Now, it's only me. The only, the only way this can really work is I want to be able to have these sites. I can't update all of them all the time. Now, you could, but how do you scale that up? You really can't because you're trying to update them as a blog style. Most of mine, 95% of mine are static, not updated, Probably 10 to 40 articles tops.
these websites, two of them right now, make $400 each per month. Two of those websites. So my, my goal was to refine what I'm doing, take these websites, figure out what's working, focus my time on what's working, and then produce more. This is part of testing. You build 10 sites. How many of those sites make money? If they make money, was it easy for you? Is it scalable? You go up, build, look into those two sites. Two of my sites now make 400 bucks a month. Now, can I go ahead and, and, and expand that? And so number three is scale up. That's it. Niche blogging, understanding all this is understanding why you want to go there. It's to minimize minimizing losses to yourself you can use WordPress blogs to go from a static and dynamic, depending on how you want to do it. If you want to do multiple websites, you want to go static, and that's built into WordPress. And number three, you need to be able to scale up, and this is how I'm able to do it. And you can do that with, with your own blogging network. Hey, Toby, Layla, thank you very much for having me on this platform. Sending it back to you. Thanks.